Hi guys, welcome to Science Chomp. Today we're going to be looking at thermodynamics part two. And today we're going to be looking directly at entropy. Now entropy, if you don't know, is disorder. And it's represented by the letter S and we can say delta S. So the change in entropy is Q, which is heat, divided by T, which is temperature. So let's just write heat and temperature over here. Heat and temperature. Now, disorder, I don't know if you know, uh, but generally the, the natural state of things is disorder. Let me give you an example. Um, your, your bedroom, if it's anything like my bedroom, it's, it's a bit of a mess. And once in a while you clear it up, you make it all nice and clean and tidy and everything. But it only stays in that ordered state for a very short amount of time. And then over time you end up with a little bit of disorder things get a little bit messy the universe is exactly the same it has some disorder and in fact entropy never ever decreases it it either stays the same or it increases over time now let me give you a, a more scientific uh, example of entropy before i explain why entropy uh, increases over time if you look at uh, water when you have water and it's all boiling away, so here's your um, thing of water and you're just bubbling away. What's happening here is all of the um, particles, they're flying all over the place because of the boiling, you know. However, if you reduce the heat, if you reduce the temperature completely, what you end up with is an ice cube. And if you look at the molecular structure of an ice cube, all of the particles are neatly arranged in like a lattice structure. So there's a lot less disorder here than there is here. So in other words, when you give a whole load of uh, heat to a substance, you increase the entropy, okay? The, the S becomes a little bit bigger. Now, uh, the more heat there is, the more the d uh, disorder that there is. And as I mentioned earlier, the entropy of the universe, it never decreases. Now, why is that? Well, you may have heard of this thing called the heat death of the universe. Well, that hasn't happened yet. And maybe it won't happen for a long time. But suppose you've got a star. Over time, what's going to happen is it's going to radiate all of that heat away into the environment, everything around it. Over time, basically, the entire universe is going to be extremely cold, extremely cold. And as a result, this T is going to be very, very small. So if you're taking the heat energy, which, by the way, uh, due to the conservation of energy, that's not really going to change in terms of the universe. You know, energy cannot be created or destroyed. So you take that energy and you divide it by a small number, which is the temperature because of the heat death. What you're going to have is a bigger and bigger entropy over time. So there we are. It's uh, related to the second law of thermodynamics. And the second law of thermodynamics states that basically when uh, objects of different temperatures are brought into contact, the flow of thermal energy flows from the region of high temperature to the region of low temperature. And that's basically what's happening here. You've got a star, which is high temperature, and the flow of thermal energy moves away. So it's linked to uh, the second law of thermodynamics. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, donate if you can. Take care. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs>